Yo, what's up, y'all? Your boy is back. Clearly, I am not home. I'm not on my regular camera. I'm on my iPad right now. Um, I'm on this va uh, family vacation right now. So I figured, you know, I got time to chill, you know, and I felt like recording a video, honestly. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Why not? So um, I know it's list, it's list time. This time of year, everybody start dropping their list videos, all that good stuff. Um, I figured, why not get the bad stuff out the way first, you know? Um, I Originally, I wasn't even going to do this video because, like, I didn't feel like it was necessary to put that, that energy out there, <laughs> you know, and talk about, like, the albums I really, you know, didn't enjoy all that much this year. But I figured, I'm sure somebody's going to ask anyway, so, you know. Why not just give y'all my my little list of the albums that I feel were the worst albums of 2020? <laughs> so uh, this list is in no particular order. Um, first off, we got Party Next Door with Party Mobile. Um, I don't know what has happened to Party Next Door and his music over the years, but I feel like a lot of it has. It's just not the same party for me personally. Like um, I think I. As far as me going back to that album, I think the only song that I know that I thoroughly enjoyed, um, I feel like, is it called The Player's Anthem? Yeah, it's called Savage Anthem. Like, that's the only one I, like, I actually have, that's the, <laughs> yo, <I'm, laughs> oh man, this is sad. I'm looking on the album thing right now, and Savage Anthem is the only song that I have liked on this thing. Because I felt like that's the only actual complete song on the entire album. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like Party Next Door just, you know, his music over the years just hasn't, it, it's just not the same anymore for me personally. And um, I feel like after the P1, 2, and 3, like after that, it's, it's been a wrap. Um, I mean, he still makes, I don't know what the hell he's doing, bro. I don't know. But this album for me personally, just, it was a snooze fest. Um, next on here, we got Jonah Lucas with ADHD, and, um, to be completely freaking honest with y'all, I forgot this album even came out this year, okay? I, I was on Twitter, and somebody was talking about Jonah Lucas, new, uh, Jonah Lucas ADHD, right? And I was like, wait, 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 that album came out this year? This year, this, that album came out, yo. I could have sworn the damn thing came out last year. But no, it was this year, and it reminded me how ass the album is, and how much, <laughs> how much I'm not really a fan of Joyner Lucas. And it's sad because I really wanted to enjoy his music, but I thought about it. You know, a lot of the music that was on the album, he dropped it before the damn thing even came out. So whatever new music came out, it didn't, it didn't even hit like. Ugh, like how you how you gonna drop an album, but all the music for the album is already out. At that point, scrap the whole damn thing, you know? Or keep keep the um keep the name of the album, but just put a whole bunch of different songs to it. You know what I'm saying? But nah, um that whole album was ass. That that album was ass, man. It just it, there was nothing, there was no good quality about that album for me personally, like, at all. I felt like Joyner just, ain't no good thing to say about that album other than his ass. Uh, next on here, Justin Bieber with Changes. Now, if y'all wanna, if y'all wanna listen to an album that literally uh, sounds the same from track one, all the way to the last track on the album. Go ahead and listen to Justin Bieber's changes, bro. Because I promise you, you will not, you you won't be able to tell the difference between each song. Every song sounds the same. <laughs> Every single song on that album sounds the exact freaking same. And I swear, the only time anything sounds a slight bit different is when they start tweaking like the like maybe a, 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 a drum pattern or just a, a little string or something. That's it. That's it. That's it. Other than that, the exact same formula for the entire damn album. And um, it's ass. 
It's it's not a good album at all. And you know what? Justin Bieber, he's the freaking reason for this year, dog. D listen, I know that's kind of messed up to say, but I promise y'all, had he not dropped that garbage ass, girl, you got that yummy. If he ain't dropped that, we wouldn't be in this predicament we in now. I promise you. I, I promise you that. Freaking ridiculous. Next on here, the baby. <laughs> We'd blame it on the baby. That I mean, blame it on baby. That album, man. If you are a fan of the baby, then you are a fan of the baby. Kudos to you. But uh, for real, I don't know how anybody could listen to that album and legit say that it had any kind of qualities of an overall good freaking album. When the man don't do nothing different than he did when he first came on the scene, like. I mean, damn, <laughs> yo, all I want, all I would love for the baby to do on a song or on an album is to actually switch something up. And when I say switch something up, I don't mean whatever the hell he was trying to do <laughs> on playment on, on baby, whatever that was. I mean, some people, some people would like to say, I give him credit for trying. I mean, whatever but it, no man it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough because like after the album comes out we get a whole deluxe thing right and the album sounds the it, everything sounds the same flow is the same beats are all the same all everything that comes with the baby's music is all the same nothing ever changes at all right and i know they're saying if it ain't broke don't fix it but damn I am very tired of hearing the same exact music over and over and over and over and over again, okay? So that's why whenever I'm like, oh, the baby coming out with something new, I probably heard it already. That's the ongoing joke that goes on with the baby and his music. If you if you heard one song from the baby, you heard them all. And that's the sad freaking reality. So I'm really hoping that next year or even you know as the years continue and he continues to make music he actually tries to make music that doesn't sound like the same thing you know from the production to his flow i mean the flow is always going to be there we know his flow already at this point it's ingrained in our freaking heads try something else it wouldn't hurt it wouldn't hurt Jet. last but not least Nav, good intentions. Man, that brought back memories I do not freaking want in my freaking head. Yeah. And didn't that damn album have a freaking deluxe too? Ridiculous. Um, Good intentions was freaking terrible. Okay. Um, I, I listened to that album more than I would I would have liked to. And um, it's just it, it depressed Siri. Terrible. Depressed Siri all over that freaking bitch. It's just... Just a damn shame, yo. <laughs> Just a damn shame, man. It's like, I I would love for Nav to, I don't, I, I hate when, you know, people say, oh, I want this artist to go back to their old stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't really, I'm not really fond of that because I feel like it's like you're forcing them to go back into like the, the box that they were in at for at one point, you know what I'm saying? But it, it it depends for a certain artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say if you're saying that you want the weekend to go back to making, I mean, for some people they would want the weekend to make trilogy music again, but in a different instance, that would mean he would have to go back on drugs, like, and be depressed and be sad as hell. So, like, you know, it's a gift and a curse at the same time. But with Nav, in my opinion, we need to go back to 2017, my boy. We need to go back to that first tape which you drop. You know what I'm saying? I got what you need if you're feeling lonely. Like, come on, bro. You know? I don't know what the hell Good Intentions was. Everybody else who was on that album did 50 million times better than Nav. Nav was half sleep throughout the whole thing. Production-wise, was okay. But Nav was just not there. It was like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, what was the What was the album he came out with recently? Uh, tsunami something, whatever the hell it was. I, I done forgot it already. Um, I think I like, like what? I think it was four tracks. I like on that, on that, on that, I think, but that was only because he actually had energy 
on the album. That was actually because he had a presence. He had life. He wasn't depressed Siri on there. He actually, you know, was making music that, okay, um, I could get behind this, you know, and it all ended when we get to the freaking song and he's talking about um, some girl in Skittles. And it's, it's just ridiculous. So, you know, and <laughs> what, I, what I love is like people in the comment section, they were like, me and Nav got this love hate relationship. It's like we're in a, <laughs> it's like we're a married couple or something. And honestly, it's, it's like that. You know, because I really want Nav to succeed, but at the same time, he keep pissing me off. So, good intentions, freaking ass. Okay, if you enjoyed it, that's cool. You know, keep rocking with the brown boy, brown boy in the block. Keep rocking with it. But for me, pers shit was terrible. Okay, um, and that's all I got for worst albums of 2020, bro. Um, yeah, man, that's all I got. These freaking albums, horrible. <laughs> Like, legit. Um, I actually wiped them from my memory. And, I again, I, I didn't even think I was going to do this video. So, you're welcome? I I guess? I I don't freaking know. Anyways, man, y'all let me know in the comment section, what were your worst albums of the year? Um, I hope you guys are doing all right. hope you guys are staying safe. Um, let me know in the comment section, again, your thoughts and your opinions. What are your worst albums of 2020? Um... Yeah, talk to me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always, Jenna Squad, thank you for watching. Uh, do make sure to go ahead and check out the DJ, the DJ TV podcast. There you go. Uh, link in the description. Follow me on all my socials if you haven't already. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.